All right, so we've got John Doe through the production process. For me, it was a lot less sweaty than it would have been for you, uh, which I appreciate personally. Now it's time to get our billing done. Now this video is assuming that you're going to use your own billing and simply upload it into Job Nimbus. So let's talk about what we're gonna be doing. So like we have the estimate value customer field that we entered, I suggest we also enter two more fields. One, an invoice field, and next, a payment field. So let's go ahead and do that now. Once again, we click on the circle on the upper right hand side, we choose settings, and we go back to contact fields or job fields if you're using jobs. We're gonna add a contact field for invoice total. We make it a decimal, we make it a currency, we save it, and we add a field for payment total. We make it a decimal field, we make it a currency field, we save it. Now let's head on back to John Doe. All right, here we are in John Doe and we need to enter our invoice. So we're gonna come back to the Documents tab. We're gonna click Upload, and we're gonna go through the same song and dance we did before where we browse through, and we set this as an invoice, and then we save it. So now we have our invoice right up here above our estimate. And you can see the type invoice estimate. If I wanted to limit what I'm seeing, I can click on the filter here and choose to see only my invoices or only my estimates. The next thing I wanna do, of course, is come edit and add my invoice total. I'm assuming this time it matched up with my estimates. Now, as my payments come in, I can add a PDF or other document just like I have for the past few, or if they're photos, they would appear in the photo area. Now you might've noticed that when we were uploading before, we didn't have a category for payments. If we'd like to add that, we can click on our circle in the upper right hand side. We can click on settings and we can come into attachment categories. We can add an attachment category. We can call it payments. and then it'll appear just where the other ones have. Now, assuming we get that last payment in and we're feeling good about things, we'll go in, edit him again. Our payment total is 5,000. In other words, our invoice and our payment totals match and we're ready to go. Then we can change his status to paid and closed. And congratulations, you completed your first contact walkthrough in Job Nimbus or job walkthrough if you're using jobs.